Okay friends, welcome to Easy Coding with Amara once again and in this video, I will tell you how you can keep user login using share preference and after that how you can log out the user from the Firebase. So first I will show you the demo. So you will see this type of registration page and in this registration page, I click on this login button and this is the page of login. So first I am going to log in the user. So you will see that I write email and password here and when user click on this login button then this page is appear which is home page okay. So now I will show you I kill all the apps so you will see that I remove the app from here. So now I again open this app which is authentication new and you will see here the page is still logged in and it did not show you the first page okay so it is i use the share preference to do this and uh, now this is the button for log out and when i click on this log out button you will see that the user is log out and this page registration page and i move the user to the first page which is the registration page okay so now i am going to show you what we have done in the previous video so in the previous video, I created this type of uh, app, Flutter app and inside this Flutter app, I create this registration page and after that, I create this button and when user click on this button, all the data which is stored inside the Firebase is retrieving here and when I click on this button, you will see this type of dialog box, delete data and if you long click on some item, then you will see this type of update button. So this is the update button so if user want to update data then he will do it easily so in this video i will tell you how you can log out and log in the user and now i am going to create a floating action button here so when user click on that button we simply log out the user and after that when user register on this application and click on this register button then we keep user login until he did not the, press the button of the logout. So if user press the button logout, then we log out the user. Otherwise, he remains login to the app. So let's open the Android Studio. And uh, this is the previous code. And this is the man.dot file. From where I call the registration page and inside this registration page I create all the design of registration page. And now first I am going to add the library for the share preference. So open the project from here and open this file. And in this file I add the dependency for the share preference. After that, open this man.dot file and click on this get dependencies. And you will see that this dependency is executed successfully. Now, in this man.dot file, open this man.dot file. And inside this man.dot file, I am going to remove this old code, which is this. And here I am going to create a function. Okay, and inside this function, I use first press Alt Enter to import the library. So inside this function, I create a variable pre share preference. And uh, inside this preference variable, I create an email and store inside this email. So inside this email, there is nothing we store. And we update this email when user registers. So in this time, there is nothing in this email. So here 
I am going to check if this email is null or not. So the first time this email is null when user install the app. So this page is run which is the registration page and if this email is not null then this page is run. So first time when the app is installed this email is empty because user did not log in still log in and register something. So first time this email is null and this page is running and after that when this email is not null then this home page is running. So now when this home page is run I open this registration page and inside this registration page you will see that I write the code here for register the data and in this code I first store the email and the password of the user inside the Firebase authentication by writing this code and when the email and password is stored successfully uh, then I store name, email and password of the user inside the Firebase reference. So you will see that I stored the data inside the Firebase database and now if the data is stored successfully then I am going to move the user to the home page. So remove this code from here and write this code from uh, in here. So in this code I check if the data is stored inside the Firebase then this code uh, will run and inside this code I simply add the email of the user inside this email which I declare in the previous man.dot file. So in, inside this file you will see that I create a variable which is email. So I store that email inside this variable email. And now I am going to move the user from this page to the home page and this is the home page where all the data is shown and in this page I create a list view and all the data is coming from the database is shown inside this list view. So now I move the user to the home page. So the name of this class is my home. So copy this from here and uh, write my home here and you will see that and if you getting any error then press alt enter to import the library of this class. And now in this time you will see that the email is not null. So every time it checks for the condition. So if the email is null this page is running. And if email is not null then home page is running. So write here my home. So you will see this type of error. Then press alt enter to import this file. So this file is present inside the registration page. So import this. So now in this time the email is not null and we add the email of the user inside this email. So in this time this page is open. Okay, not this page. And now I am going to create a floating action button inside this home page. So if user want to log out from the app then he clicks that button. So open this and create a floating action button. So here I create a floating action button and when user click on floating action button first I am going to remove the email which I uh, store in the email variable. So you will see that here this is a floating action button and I simply first initialize and create a uh, share press preference variable and after that I simply remove this from uh, I simply remove this email from this share preference. So first execute. Uh, add the library of this shared preference. So you will see that the shared preference is the library of shared preference is added. So by writing this code, I simply remove the email from this shared preference. And now I am going to create this function which is sign out. And before sign out, first I am going to create an instance of Firebase auth. So come to this and paste this code here and press alt enter to import. So first I am going to create the instance of Firebase auth. And now I am going to create this function 
and inside this function i simply first sign out the user okay and when the user is signed out successfully then this then function calls and inside this then function i simply move the user from this page to the registration page okay so you will see that here we have a registration page and the name of this is registration so copy this registration from here and remove this and write this registration page and press alt enter to import this page so i simply move the user from this home page to the registration page okay so now we have done and i am going to run this code to show you the output So the app is running and uh, now you will see and sorry I write wrong class name here so it's a register the name of the class is register so that's why it's, I run this app again now. And you will see this app is restarted and now I write some code here so and write some password here and now I click this register button and you will see that this page is open and now I first remove all the apps and again open this app which is flutter app and you will see the app is still logged in and it did not show this the first registration page and now I am going to click on this button and you will see the app is logged out so in this app i did not create a page for the login but if you need the login page then you did the same work which i did here so in the in this registration page so in the registration page i i write this code and if you want to keep the uh, user login when he click on the register button then you have to write this code inside the login page okay so you write this same code inside the login page so that's it for this video and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and inshallah see you soon allah hafiz